to have my child in a few months, so I'm just glad to be here today competing again on tour. Um, me and Marina played a few times in college squash, maybe two times in the past two weeks. <laughs> Uh, so um, I knew it's going to be tough and I knew every time I have to prepare very well because, you know, she, she, get, she comes firing every time. So uh, I'm just really happy to be with her today. It definitely it changes the mentality of the game and it makes you enjoy squash more than just playing for your ranking and everything. So um, it gives you more relaxation on court. Uh, also, you have a lot of people beside, behind you supporting you all the time. So, yeah, it's definitely a great opportunity that I'm proud to be part of. I feel very happy to, to win this match first and I didn't expect this one and this is my best one I think. Um, before two weeks I played not really well in Detroit and Calgary. Um, so luckily I can finally perform it in Squash on Fire and Ibrahim is a very good and talented player for me and I think I give him enough pressure today to make him make the errors and yeah just take on my plans and make him run and I feel I can beat him by fitness maybe so let's try it and I did it and hopefully I can keep it well for next round because I, I love to attack and when someone's attack is better than me and I, I, I feel tough to pick that up um, so last time I played Hish, uh, Hisham in fo Hong Kong Football Club and he just shot me like 20 minutes. So luckily I, I, can, I can play well today. Relief, like I'm obviously been struggling with bit of an injury the last couple of months, but I've been here in DC since TOC and I've been taking care of like the best ever. So um, I've been seeing lots of physios and everything, been training hard and I'm feeling a lot, lot better. Like coming here, this tournament was a bit of a pressure because on paper I'm number one seed, but on the other side I'm just relieved and happy that I, that I can play pain-free again. Um, so I'm definitely very happy with the result today um, and yeah, I'm excited to play my, the, another match tomorrow. I'm trying not to think about that. I'm taking a date day by day, see how I feel. I want to push every match. Every match is going to be hard. Everyone's improving. Everyone's been playing well. So I'm going to see what tomorrow gives and I'm, I'm going to give it my all for sure. But I'm not going to put any pressure on, on me because I think every, anyone here can win and everyone's aiming for that title. So cool. I'll do my best though. <laughs> yeah, just relieved to get the win. It's my first match here. I thought I was uh, going to be more, uh, more up for it uh, mentally uh, after, having, uh, having had, after having had a few days off uh, uh, coming from Calgary. But yeah, it's never an easy way out with uh, with Timmy, we've always had tough battles when we would play challenge matches uh, at the Merce Centre uh, in Cambridge. So uh, I was looking for, for a good battle and I, he pushed me all the way to the fifth game. Uh, I'm happy I, I've been there a million times, uh, especially this season, having to push through in the fifth game. And uh, that's why I try to remind myself uh, uh, coming off the, the fourth game. And I, I reacted well in that fifth game, but hopefully next time I can Pushed through mentally in, in, the, in the third or fourth game, yeah. I'm used to play Timmy, uh, I know he likes to talk a lot. Uh, it's never in a, in a mean way, it's just uh, who he is. He likes to have conversations with the ref, with the players, and I don't mind it. I try to just uh, stay focused and, uh, and as I say, it's just in, it's most of the time in the right spirit, so I don't mind it uh, when he's talking and it's just trying to focus on myself. and. I went up, I think, 5-0 uh, in that fifth game, so for me it was just a, a matter of uh, sticking to a game plan and just uh, riding through uh, that fifth game. Yeah, I'm pleased uh, with how the match went, and I've never played Grace before, and she's 
a phenomenal athlete and really skillful out on there. Um, I felt for her because she had a late one and a tough one last night and um, definitely plays a role into like the start of the match and just like the progression of uh, the performance. But I mean, it was tough physically and I'm pleased with I, that I stuck it out in three. I had a little bit of a slow start in the second. Uh, I was down six love and just was like, okay, like it obviously makes a big difference when it's one all versus two love and I didn't really want to put myself in a position in the first round to be at a one all just with nerves and tension and stuff so I really had to fight my way back there. She had a late one and, and a tough one and a long one so like it's definitely uh, something I thought about and was like okay this is my first round and she's feeling it as well and she played on the, the uh, she didn't play on the glass as well so I took that into consideration that it was kind of both of our first performances on this glass court, so not that like external factors play much, but I don't know, anything to kind of <laughs> boost your confidence and ease the nerves a little bit. Yeah, it's awesome, it's, it's fun, it adds an extra motivation, it adds extra um, ambition and incentive and just kind of more fun and enjoyment as well, so it's a great crowd. Yeah, of course, I know it's going to be a very hard, hard game, uh, especially get playing against uh, Jameson Strop. Uh, he's one of the most experienced squash players in the tour now. Uh, yeah, I just prepared myself, maybe like before the tournament. Uh, uh, yeah, of course, everyone do it, like uh, watching matches, uh, building tactics. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy to make it today. Uh, I think uh, it was like ups and downs, especially in the second game. And I'm really happy to make it today. I'm just like focus like point by point. Uh, if I finish first game, I, I focus second game. If I lose third game, I'm just like I'm trying to win match. So uh, yeah, of course it's it's step by step, point by point. I mean, you have to, to keep moving, you have to keep uh, fighting. So what that's what I'm doing at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'm really I'm really happy to get my first round today. Yeah, my second round. Uh, there's uh, some uh, some good fans here for me. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy that uh, supporting me. Of course, I'm, I'm doing my best to, uh, to win every match. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward for quarterfinal. Last year, I reached quarterfinal, so I'm hoping that I can push one step to semifinal. Yeah, obviously, I was training really hard, but mentally, I was, I was mentally drained, so I'm still recovering from what happened to me. I'm still not recovered yet, but I'm working on it. I'm taking it easy on myself. And actually, it, it, it changed me totally in my mentality, uh, in my squash, but I'm still getting back to it. It's not, still not at my best, and that's okay. I understand that, but I'm working to get back to where I am and better. Yeah, actually, Amina and I, we've been uh, training in the same club, so I've, I've been seeing her since she was eight or nine years old, and I always see how dedicated she is and how dangerous she is. So, yeah, she's a dangerous player. She's, she plays really solid. Uh, and I think there's no pressure on me. As I told you, it's just my third tournament back. So I'm really looking forward to tomorrow's match, and hopefully it's going to be a good match. Nathan played extremely well. He made it very, very uncomfortable for me from point one. Um, you know, I didn't probably hit my marks as well as what I would like, but you know, that's also to do with the pressure that Nathan put me under. So, you know, you can't take any credit away from from the quality of play that he was producing. Um, you know, he uh, it took a long while to kind of get to him and then mini break him, so to say. Uh, but uh, I think uh, you know, uh, I'm happy that I dug in and really, really you know, put a lot of hard yards in, uh, you know, through those, through those games. And I mean, even in the end, you know, like Nathan put, put together some, some very, very impressive rallies. And, and again, maybe, you know, I didn't choose the right shots at the right time and things like that, but, you know, you still have to take advantage of those things. And, and Nathan did that. So, uh, you know, I, I can only be complimentary of him. Uh, for me personally, I was just you know, trying to play it point by point, of course, uh, you know, it's, it's nerve wracking. Very, very stressful. Um, but yeah, I mean, thankfully it kind of went my way in the end and 
uh, hopefully I can build on that and, and play better tomorrow and, and, and win tomorrow as well.